Hello, uh, good morning, good, good day, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. As Jim Carrey said as he left the Matrix. Uh, now, some of you um, may have noticed the one of the latest crop circles that appeared uh, somewhere in the last 24 hours or so, unless it was a few days ago, I can't remember exactly when, but um, it's a round circle with a um, doorway in it. So it's like a doorway. So I feel that the um, those who printed the crop circle, holographically printed the um, crop circle, um, are sort of letting us know with the symbology. It has many meanings because you look at it, you can pick up on quite a few different things. Um, but one of them is um, doorway, gateway and it feels like it's a doorway out of the illusion. Um, I've only got 15 minutes or so, so I'm gonna try and do as much of this as I can because I'm actually um, queued up for, uh, for an interview with Lisa in New York from the Goldfish Report. Go, um, yeah, the Goldfish Report. Um, is going to be interesting but uh let's just go into this so for those who are retaining currencies um those who are retaining currencies um tier one just to give you what they all are tier one is global authorities u.s treasury european union monarchy sovereign uh very old money tier two world governments tier three uh authors of the plan Tier 3 have negotiated rates much lower than the rates Tier 4 will receive. Uh, Cardin's post goes into that in much detail. Tier 4 is the internet group, you and me, um, and that's talking about those who have um, basically um, registered themselves via email to, um, so forth to receive the 800 numbers if you're in America or whatever. So. Tier 5 group um, is John Q Public, so that's the rest of the masses. So they may receive a fraction of the amount of Tier 4. So the fraction of the amount means that they will receive monies that they can probably, will make them very well off to, to a level um, for private use, whereas Tier 4 is you're going to have enough that you may use um, 15 to 20% for yourself or even less depending on what the overall amount is and the rest of it you can uh, funnel into um, all sorts of different humanitarian projects of all sorts on all levels to um, change the planet so that uh, so many of us all doing that can rapidly uh, change the situation on the planet uh, within five to ten years in an incredible way that the big corporations are all holding monies into a bottleneck pyramid system for self-serving -serve, to self um, are not doing because they're protecting certain interests. Uh, once that all breaks free, the money breaks free and you have multitudes of people um, um, funneling all that money into all sorts of things and so it's a total different scenario of energy in the way that money is operating in the world and being shared amongst the human collective and community. Right, so let's go uh, now on new info. Uh, RV intelligence alert imminent, July the 26th, 2018. Operation disclosure. Um, the following is an overview of the current situation based on rumors leaks from several sources which may or may not be truthful or accurate. The cabal are defeated. Full disclosure must be given before the final takedown can occur. It is only a matter, of, a matter of presenting the evidence in a way for the masses to understand and accept. According to sources, final preparations are being made for the RV event as Zimbabwe's general election uh, approaches. Tier 3 groups are being called into Reno, Zurich, Hong Kong and Calgary and are expected to re receive liquidity. Unconfirmed. Rumours state thousands of Tier 3 groups and individuals have received liquidity. However, this would uh, contradict previous intel of all tiers exchanging redeeming simultaneously. Nonetheless, Tiers 1, 2 and 3 have been 
told to consider the RV event imminent. Um, and that's interesting information given the timing of the uh, lunar eclipse situation. Um, I've got to say the energies are really ramping up at the moment. It's a cross between a real positive like my Reiki hands. I, I did Reiki about 20 years ago, 22 years ago or something and I used to get really hot hands. Uh, my, my, my palms, my hands in here are burning. They're burning in, in this area. There's a hot sensation. Energy's funneling in through the crown and coming out through my hands at the moment. But there's also a it's a, it's a duality, so I'm experiencing um, quite a lot of anxiety, actually. There's an anxiety that I can't put my finger on, so it's just a shift. Uh, I walked into the supermarket, um, saw people of all different uh, races of humanity with all sorts of different features, um, looked into their eyes, got interesting vibes. There was a sense of together, union, collectiveness, and yet there was also that aspect of um, people's you know overwhelmed with their burdens in life that uh, they suffer with so there was an observation of that as well uh, and uh, yeah it's just a very eerie feeling um, in the ether um, okay so July 27th to July 28th a major energy shift Energy is currently supercharged as we approach the full moon total eclipse. Six planets in retrograde. Mars appearing as big as the moon. That's not true. Forget that bit. That's just... I don't know who put that there, but... Um, and intense geomagnetic storms. If you can't think straight, ears are ringing. Um, head is buzzing. You're struggling to communicate with people and feel irritable. Yeah. Angry, argumentative, well, that's been happening, yep. Um, zoned out, zapped of energy and are struggling to sleep. Uh, you're perfectly okay. You're just highly attuned to the universe and are going through a huge personal shift that we will feel brutal, that will feel brutal, but will push you through an extreme and much needed transformation. Oh, I just got an image of... Um, uh, What's that saying about camel through the eye of a needle? Camel, camel through the eye of a needle. It's almost like what, on a spiritual level, our consciousness is like the, hello, <laughs> Nanu Nanu. It's like our consciousness is the, um, is it the camel going through the eye of a needle? It's an old saying, um, it's an old biblical saying, I believe. Something about through the eye of a needle, camel, camel. Yeah, it's like our consciousness is a camel forcing its way through this tiny little thing. And it's the pressure we're feeling right now. And by the end of the uh, full moon eclipse, it's like we've come out the other end of the needle. Um, the other end of the needle, you know, where the little, where you put the string in. Hi, Debbie, how you going? Um... We are about to experience the longest eclipse of this entire century and at the same time um, uh, go through the fastest, most powerful and turbulent life changes. It is highly recommended to take time out as often as possible over these next few days and to quickly remove yourself from any situations that could potentially become explosive. So a lot of raw energy stuff that's been suppressed sitting on the bottom of the tank is going to get um, stirred up and brought to the surface and outwardly expressed so just be um oh, what's the word i can't think of the word but you know what i mean uh, be vigilant with your own energetic space in regard to others uh, we will notice our past coming back to test us and the decisions we make over this period will either show how much we have grown or how much uh, we are stuck repeating the same dramas and maintaining lies that we know we should have cut some time ago. 
This is our opportunity to prove to ourselves that we've learnt from heartbreaking mistakes and we're no longer afraid to end what is harmful and open up to a new beginnings that hold life-changing possibilities. Drink plenty of water, take salt baths, uh, walk barefoot in nature and take time out alone. And most deeply breathe and count to 10 regularly. Uh, I just um, got out of the bath. I've just had a zeolite bath. So I put about um, four tablespoons of zeolite powder in the bath and then I submerged in that and uh, I didn't wash it off. I've left it on and uh, I actually feel something really nice on my skin at the moment. Uh, yeah, so that basically concludes because I have 10 minutes before I'm meeting up with Lisa of the um, Goldfish Report. She's interviewing me and another Australian guy over in Perth or he's over in Venice in Italy. I'm not sure he's in one of them. Um, I've never met him. Um, but it will be interesting anyway. It's going to be quite spontaneous and just see what happens. Um, ah, that's it. It is easier to get a camel through the eye of a needle than a rich man into heaven. Right. Yeah, well, this, this energy right now, on an energetic uh, level, on a metaphysical level, it's like um, plasmatic level. It's almost like trying to fit yourself. Your mass is too great to fit through the eye of a needle, and yet it is somehow bending the laws of physics in order to stretch through the same way that a mouse can somehow just stretch itself through such a small space so it's like we're moving down a birthing canal like when when we're crowning and uh we're being born and we're coming out and and there's we're right now um or it's already started um we're in advanced labor and we're actually being reborn uh, right as we speak there's that energy around um, of rebirth going on I've actually got strange aches and pains in my joints that have come on just in the last half an hour that feels like a arthritic type thing but I know it's only a part of the, the shift it's not really um, arthritis uh, yeah what else uh, can I say um, there's also a heightened sense in in the air tonight as like it's a mixed it's a mixed apple uh, cart isn't it uh, I'm feeling this great excitement the same that um, young teenagers would feel when they want to go out and party um, there's sort of that sort of energy there's um, endorphins being released um with this energy and yet at the same time it's uh it's a smack it's like a smack in the mouth um yeah now let's just go and see what everyone else has um said that's here oh lost you all so for those on youtube um i do these videos on facebook live where people write comments and that's why i'm saying hello to them uh, Daniel, hello, Deborah, hello, uh, Wes, Sylvia, Rebecca, Dawn, Tina, uh, technology is being weird tonight too, I'm having battery issues and my finger, finger touch screen, it's like it's not recognising my finger. Um, and sometimes not working. Bugger, what is going on? Paola, Leone, um, Belinda. Gee, Christopher, exciting, a black hole metaphorically departing 3D. Yeah, it's like we're going through a black hole from 3D into 5D, I guess, is on some level. Let's see what the world feels like tomorrow and the next day. And don't have high expectations of a massive change or you might disappoint yourself. And if it is that, then good, but don't set yourself up for disappointment by the same thing like people expected something massive to happen in 2012 when a lot of it is gradual 
processes uh, because it's not about time. The, the actions are instantaneous outside of time, but the manifestation of those instantaneous actions that exist outside time find themselves approaching and activating on the timeline at the perfect moment. So, you know, people tend to struggle uh, because they exist within the confines of the illusion of time at this level of density that we're existing in here in the physical 3D. So you got to step outside that and step back and look at it as if you're looking at everything happening outside of time because it's all happening in one moment, right? Yeah? Yeah, you all get me, so. All right, I've got to go. I've got four or five minutes and I need to set up um, to make sure I'm in communication with Lisa from the Goldfish Report, so that will be interesting. All right, so Nanu Nanu. And live long and prosper. And good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Um, good day and good night. Yeah. All right. See you. Bye bye. Ciao for now. Hello. Uh, good morning. Good, good day. Good afternoon. Good evening. And good night. As Jim Carrey said as he left the Matrix. Uh, now, some of you um, may have noticed the one of the latest crop circles that appeared. Uh, somewhere in the last 24 hours or so unless it was a few days ago. I can't remember exactly when but um, it's a round circle with a um, Doorway in it. So it's like a doorway. So I feel that the um, Those who printed the crop circle holographically printed the um, crop circle um, uh sort of letting us know with the symbology it has many meanings because you look at it you can pick up on a quite a few different things um, but one of them is um, doorway gateway and it feels like it's a doorway out of the illusion um, I've only got 15 minutes or so so I'm gonna try and do as much of this as I can because I'm actually um, queued up for uh, for an interview with Lisa from in New York from the Goldfish Report. Got, um, yeah, the Goldfish Report, um, which is gonna be interesting. But uh, let's just go into this. So for those who are retaining currencies, um, those who are retaining currencies,